This is a VB.net tutorial on movement, an alternative system to using the tiling. There is some limitations with this, but I'll explain them a bit later. So all I've done is created a basic project. Just make it slightly bigger. I need to add a panel. You can resize that to any size you want. And a picture box. You can resize that to any size. I'll just do 32 by 32. Name it what I want. And I'll add a colour. To the middle. So what I want to go is to go into the code, delete the load, go into form one events and choose key down. Then we want to get the key code. So then you can either use like WSD or the arrow keys. I'll just use WSD for simplicity. I prefer to go use the up down, do up down, then left and right. Just add that in. So we want it to move up and down. So we do PBU dot top minus five, then PBU dot top plus so equal to five. So I'll move it down, up, or down, and then left or right. Adding the same but using left rather than top. Save that. So then when you run it, you will see that the box moves as you press the keys. You can make it go faster and change this number here, which changes the number of pixels it moves by when you press the key. So it goes faster like that, and then if you reduce the number, it goes a lot slower. I suggest around the value of 5 is pretty suitable. The only problem is though, that if you keep going, you will just leave the panel that is on your screen which isn't the best thing so what you need to do is add in boundaries so if we give the panel a border and then we need to add in left and right can be used so you need to use left M and right M as boolean so now we need that form one load again. So up is equal to true, down is equal to true, left m is equal to true, and right m is equal to true. So what we'll do is we'll add an if statement to each of these. To make sure that they can go. So if up is equal to true, then On, else, and then just end if. So then if down is equal to true, then using the colons just means you can put everything in the one line. Else, end if. And it makes your code a bit smaller and tidier. Oops, didn't mean to do that left m um, is equal to true then so then what we need to do is add in a small bounds sub Where we get the location 
of the picture box. So if x is less than or equal to zero, then that will be left is equal to false, else left is equal to true. Just move that up there again to make it a bit neater. So then we need to do if y is less than or equal to zero, then up is equal to false, else up is equal to So what this does is it checks that the picture box bounds and stop. So now, when you move it, the box, no matter how much you press the up key, will not move, and you can move down and back up again. And then, if you go to the left, you still can't do it, and if you go in the corner, you're unable to leave the corner. You then need to do the same if x is greater than or equal to and take your picture box and move it into the bottom corner. Take the x from the location, so we've got 494. 494, then right m is equal to false, else right m is equal to true. And then if your y is greater than or equal to get the y location from there, which is 240 then you're down it's equal to false else down is equal to true <laughs> and then your box can move around it's unable to leave the bottom and it's unable to leave the left and that's you, stopped it from leaving I did say there was a few problems or limitations with it earlier, such as if you were to put a button onto the screen, just name it click me. When you try to use the keys on the screen, the button stops you from doing that. There's also a lots of other controls to do that, so if you're wanting to put on buttons, the best thing to do would be a picture box add in like create a picture with all your text and things and then use that as your button. <laughs>